Hi, I'm Robin Miller, co-host of Miller Chat. My co-host today is Doris Livesay. Welcome. Well, thank you, Robin. I'm always happy to be with you. Our guest today is Ted Mayen Hi, how are you? from ForgeWorks. Right, right. And Ted was on about six months ago. Yeah, and it was a great experience. I really appreciate it. And now you're here to tell us more about what's going on. Yeah, we've, um, boy, I'll tell you, it's, it's just been a whirlwind. We've mm -hmm. had such an exciting, uh, an exciting year. And you know, before I talk about our program, I'd like to thank you know you, and I'd like to mm -hmm. thank your program. Um, you know, it's 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 very important to to um, have platforms such as this to mm -hmm. be able to promote change, to take steps forward for right. awareness. And mm -hmm. uh, you've done a great job, and you've helped you know a lot of people out there, and uh, you've given us the opportunity. Mm -hmm. So I just want to thank you and commend you. I think you've done a great job. Well, thank you. Did you have a question that you want to ask? Yes. What is Ride with Pride? Um, Ride with Pride is our nonprofit therapeutic horseback mm -hmm. riding program. And um, we created Ride with Pride as the nonprofit arm so that we could um, do fundraising to help with scholarships, mm -hmm. so we could accept money from. Um, you know, from corporations or from grants, which, you know, we're a young program, and, and though we're doing really, really well, um, if you think about last year starting with, you know, four, four or six riders, and now uh, even after kids went back to school this year, we're still over 55 riders. Good. It's mm. fantastic, but we still have to, um, you know, there's a certain number of riders that we have to achieve, mm -hmm. and, and we want to expand so much. Um, that we really do, you know, we really do need the, um, you know, the corporate and, and community uh, support in that regard. So that's why we created uh, the Ride with Pride program. Well, you've done a wonderful job because I see your show on TV one night. We're, we're, we get so busy and we give, you know, so many lessons and so many things go on. And, you know, when you just see the smile on, on mm -hmm. a kid's face, um, or you see them do something that they've been working on on the horse for maybe you know three or four lessons mm -hmm. and you know finally they're maybe able to start to talk maybe they say whoa or, mm -hmm. or they say walk on or they're able to get strong enough to be able to stand up in the saddle I mean these are these are, are, are huge rewards for us versus you know versus a ton of money and, and just to see the smiles yeah. in the parents faces mm -hmm. um, you know it's just it's just great it just uh, it's just so fulfilling what have you been doing in the last six months? Tell the viewers about what you've been up to. Uh, <laughs> well, a mouthful, uh, huh? It's, <laughs> it's more than a mouthful, right? Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, well, we, um, we put on a, um, an exhibition horse show. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we've been to hundreds of horse shows over the years. And, and so basically what we did is we took a, a, a very professional type of horse show and we tailored it for 32 uh, of our special need riders. And... What we did is we had, knowing each of our riders, we had them judged on specific abilities. Mm -hmm. um, so we may have somebody who does the best, um, you know, holding rings over their head or, or, you know, some particular exercise. And so everybody got a first place ribbon. And uh, what was incredible about this whole horse show was I figured maybe there'd be 100 people or so that would mm -hmm. come. And uh, I didn't even realize, you know, what may happen with some of the kids. I mean, they're autistic. They're, they have cerebral palsy. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's a lot of things going on. We had an Alzheimer's uh, uh, rider as well. Really? Yeah, really? yeah. So, um, so I, as I was giving the opening presentation, I saw these people coming down the driveway, and I'm like, oh, my mm -hmm. God. You know, and uh, the mm -hmm. horses were just champs about it. Um, and, and what happened with the kids is that, they came up like three or four levels. I mean, instead of seeing all these people and you know, you know, getting very timid, they were mugging to the cameras. Mm -hmm. They were doing love and peace and the whole. <laughs> and they were just, it was, you know, what it was, it was their moment in the sun, mm -hmm. and uh, it just made them feel so great about themselves. Yeah. And uh, it was just an incredible experience. And uh, also, um, you know, I, I when we started the program, I always said and made a promise that I would try to either myself become an advocate for. Mm -hmm. um, you know, for the special needs right. population, or use our program, and um, so I had the uh, opportunity to hook up with John Bish, mm -hmm. and uh, so he came out and did you know safety kits mm -hmm. and identity kits, and 